welcome to Murder in a Minute here in beautiful sunny London for today. It's surprising considering how cold it's been these last couple of weeks. Now I'm in Kilburn, probably about five minutes here from King High Ro King Kilburn High Road Station on Barlow Barlow Road. Yeah. So this road is now notorious for being where the home of John Duffy, a serial rapist who attacked probably a lot more women than he was sentenced for back in. Now, you might have heard John Duffy as the railway rapist. I'm going to go into the sunshine because I love a bit of sunshine. So he, his case was in fact the first case of offender profiling in the UK. But not only was that one of them, or one of the weird things about this case, but also that he found a friend who went on his murderous, sadistic rampages with him. Now, he called it the hunting games. And the first that uh, these two pals, John Duffy and David Mulcahy, got together was back in their school days where they started torturing and killing animals. Apparently their first kill was a hedgehog at the age of 13. Isn't it sweet how they remember those things while hanging out together? Hmm. Anyway, let's get back to our story about John Duffy. Now it was in 1982 where the first woman was violently raped and attacked near a railway station. Now that was first of many and over the next four years up until 1986 18 more women would be viciously assaulted and attacked near railway stations and three would be dead I don't know which house he lived at on this road it goes up quite far as well now the police were desperate to try and catch who was raping and attacking these women back in the 80s but yeah, they're trying their best. They opened up Operation Heart, even hired Professor David Cantor from the University of Surrey to start the 17 different characteristic traits that would be behind whoever was the serial attacker, at this point not a killer, and rapist. Most of the women came forward and had said that you know two men had attacked them. Anyway, despite carrying a knife, despite beating up his wife, and also despite going to an identity parade and victims not saying it was John Duffy. Duffy was thinking he was invincible back in 1983 when he went on to actually continue his raping and attacking with his pal Mulcahy on various, by various railway stations. So it's in 1985 when he went one step further and killed the first woman. She was April Allison Day, she was 19 year old and she was killed by Hackney Wick, strangled. And in April in 1986, another woman, Marcha Tambosa, she was strangled by her own belt and then the perpetrators went back and burnt her body. And in July 1986, the decomposing body of TV presenter Anne Locust was found not far from her own train station in Hertfordshire as well. Now it's in 1986 when uh, Duffy was arrested for stalking women and making women feel generally uncomfortable and finally the police could put two and two together and he was arrested and charged with three murders and seven rapes. He was then sentenced to 30 years. However, it was 15 years later in 2000 when he finally admitted that he had an accomplice, even though most of the women who had been subjected to his violent, sexual, sadistic crimes had said that there was two of them. He said that Mulcahy was the guy that was involved with him. Mulcahy ultimately denied it, claiming his innocence. He couldn't get away with it because DNA had come on so far by this point in 2000 that he was clearly the guy that had done the act. Now he was sentenced to three life sentences for his part in all of it, but police believe that it wasn't just these seven rapes and three murders of these women. In fact, there was at least 10 more that could be attributed to these two men. But at the moment, Duffy is keeping quiet for what he called was his hunting games with McKay, and neither is talking. So. 
here you go. Murder in a minute, probably way over a minute in Kilburn. <laughs>